Okay. So to lo load in these different mods, I'm using uh, Sonic GMI or the mod installer. Uh, pretty similar to what you find for the Sonic Adventure DX one. Uh, let's see here. You know what? Let's save the Unleashed DLC for later because I'm pretty sure people have been wanting to check this one out. Uh, although it does have a bit of a performance hit. Which is the Mystic Cave DLC. Or DLC. Mystic Cave mod for Sonic Generations. Right. So yeah, while the uh, that Unleash mod has been running at 60 frames a second, we're probably going to get at best 30 uh, for Mystic Cave, but that's alright. Also, uh, this is the beginning. <laughs> One of the, uh, the mods on here also messes with the colors a little bit, I noticed. So the thing with uh, this Mystic Cave DLC, there's no stage for metal, uh, modern Sonic, as far as I can tell. So we're going to be using uh, classic Sonic. So yeah, not 60 frames a second. That's just because, like, this... Uh, I think they mentioned that the mod is not quite optimized yet. But it still looks pretty good. And I've always been mystified of like if that's supposed to be foliage or some or uh, like rocks in uh, the caves here. Uh, back when I played the Genesis game, it's like ah, it's got to be. I assume these are just plants or growth or something like that underground. I should also mention, uh, also for that Unleashed DLC, you can play as Classic Sonic, but since I'm so used to trying to spin dash everywhere. He's not, uh, Classic Sonic's not made to be played in 3D, and, uh, executing a spin dash crashes the game. There's probably a mod that fixes that, but I never cared to look into it. Oh yeah, and I totally have the, uh, the homing attack enabled. Deal with it, kids. really dig that background there, because it just has so much detail going on in it, of like... Like, it almost looks like there's like different mine, uh, minecart paths or something like that. Just all over the place. Like this here. I mean, obviously you can't write it, but it just looks really cool that it's uh, here for the decoration. Uh, so just like in Sonic 2, let's see if we, uh, hopefully I didn't screw myself over. Okay, good. So one thing you'll notice, uh, some of the tricks that they pulled off here is this, uh, this hanger here, you don't really need to grab onto it to activate the platform. It's just a limitation of the tool sets, uh, that's being used right now, especially, uh, this vine here is just, uh, a grabber object that just kind of travels up and down. And if I'm not mistaken, these uh, are literally just, they're crushers, but they're timed to work with uh, some spikes that are embedded in either the crusher or the ceiling. I'm not entirely sure of where. But yeah, this level's pretty easy to take care of. So we already get an S rank. We'll play it one more time, just to try out some different paths. Actually, I've already been up here. Let's go down. Eh. Not much else to say about this mod, since it literally is just Mystic Cave Zone 1. Uh, and Act 2 is not present whatsoever in this build. Oof. But yeah, if you can barely tell, looking at this uh, Crusher here, that there are spikes inside of it, which is how I'm able to take damage. And of course, uh, it doesn't go without saying, 
that it also has uh, these uh, little light bulb enemies that are really annoying. I believe they're kind of new for this uh, for this mod. Oh. Just like in the regular game, there are these uh, little spike traps. Uh, they don't really match your character's position, but it, at the very least, it does take care of. Uh, it does look like retract, so that if you mess up a platforming challenge, you can try again. And my controller cut out for no reason, so let's move on to keyboard. Oof. I want to go up. I don't want to get crushed. Assuming that's what happens, I'm not entirely sure, actually. And I got hit by that spike ball, I guess. Or, what am I getting hit by? Alright, let's try this again. I think the collision on a spike ball is a little wonky. Oh well. But yeah, nice attempts all around to try and make this work, you know, exactly as it does in the original Sonic 2 game. Although, doing some of the platforming challenges with uh, Classic Sonic kind of sucks. Alright, I'm going to try one more pass through with this level, and then uh, we'll go ahead and move on. Alright. Uh, I do also want to mention, there is one mod in uh, the hacking competition that's a little more difficult to get uh, installed, which is the Sonic 06 uh, mod. Because, while it does give you like levels recreated in Generations, uh, they also apparently try to mimic the physics of Sonic 06 for whatever reason. Alright, I'm actually curious. I'm gonna think I'm gonna try and get crushed and then we'll move on, because uh, we know how this ends. Nope. <laughs> That's probably because I'm invulnerable too, so uh, let's see what happens if I try that. Try getting crushed without uh, any protection here. And I can just get flattened. Very nice. I was actually not expecting that to happen. Alright. Well, we've seen the Mystic Cave level. Go check it out for yourself if you want to see what it's like uh, on your computer.